Web API. Interview 50 questions. With answers. 1. What is Web API? It is a framework which helps us to build slash develop HTTP services. So there will a client server communication using HTTP protocol. 2. What are the advantages of using REST in Web API? REST always used to make less data transfers between client and server which makes REST an ideal for using it in mobile apps. Web API supports HTTP protocol thereby it reintroduces the old way of HTTP verbs, get, post, put and delete. 4. Communication Three. What is representational state transfer or REST? REST is architectural style, which has defined guidelines for creating services which are scalable. REST used with HTTP protocol. Using its verbs get, post, put and delete. 4. Explain Web API routing. Routing is the mechanism of pattern matching as we have in MVC. These routes will get registered in root tables. Below is the sample route in Web API. Five. List out the differences between WCF and Web API. WCF. It is framework built for building or developing service-oriented applications. WCF can be consumed by clients which can understand XML. WCF supports protocols like HTTP, TCP, named pipes etc. Web HTTP binding to be enabled for WCF REST. For each method there has to be attributes like web get and web invoke. For get and post verbs respectively. Web API. It is a framework which helps us to build slash develop HTTP services. Web API is an open source platform. It supports most of the MVC features which keep Web API over WCF. Unlike WCF REST we can use full features of HTTP in Web API. Web API can be hosted in IIS or in application. 6. Can we unit test Web API and how? Yes we can unit test Web API. We can unit test the Web API using Fiddler tool. Below are the settings to be done in Fiddler. Compose tab enter request headers enter the request body and execute. 7. What are the advantages of Web API? Below are the list of support given by Web API. OData. Filters. Content negotiation. Self-hosting. Routing. Model bindings. 8. Can we return view from Web API? No. We cannot return view from Web API. 9. How we can restrict access to methods with specific HTTP verbs in Web API. Attribute programming is used for this functionality. Web API will support to restrict access of calling methods with specific HTTP verbs. We can define HTTP verbs as attribute over method as shown below. Ten. Can we use Web API with ASP.NET Web Forms? Yes. We can use Web API with ASP.NET Web Forms. Eleven. List out the steps to be made for Web API to work in Web Forms. Below are the steps to be followed. Creating new controller for Web API. Adding routing table to application underscore start method in ASAX. Make a AJAX call to Web API actions. Twelve. Explain how to give alias name for action methods in Web API. Using attribute action name, we can give alias name for Web API actions. Example. Thirteen. What is the difference between MVC routing and Web API routing? There should be at least one route defined for MVC and Web API to run MVC and Web API application, respectively. In Web API. Pattern we can find API slash at the beginning which makes it distinct from MVC routing. In Web API routing action parameter is not. 
mandatory but it can be a part of routing. 14. Explain exception filters. Exception filters will be executed whenever controller methods, actions, throws an exception which is unhandled. Exception filters. Will implement exception filter interface. Subscribe. By clicking subscribe button. 15. Explain about the new features added in Web API 2.0 version. Below are the list of features introduced in Web API 2.0. Owen. Attribute routing. External authentication. Web API OData. 16. How can we pass multiple complex types in Web API? Below are the methods to pass the complex types in Web API. Using ArrayList. Newton Soft J Array. 17. Write a code snippet for passing ArrayList in Web API. Below is the code snippet for passing ArrayList. 18. Give an example of Web API routing. Below is the sample code snippet to show Web API routing. 19. Give an example of MVC routing. Below is the sample code snippet to show MVC routing. 20. How we can handle errors in Web API. Below are the list of classes which can be used for error handling. HTTP response exception. Exception filters. Registering exception filters. HTTP error. 21. Explain how we can handle error from HTTP response exception. This returns the HTTP status code what you specify in the constructor. Example. Twenty-two. How to register Web API exception filters? Below are the options to register Web API exception filters. From action. From controller. Global registration. Twenty-three. Write a code snippet to register exception filters from action. Below is the code snippet for registering exception filters from action. 24. Write a code snippet to register exception filters from controller. Below is the code snippet for registering exception filters from controller. 25. Write a code snippet to register exception filters globally. Below is the code snippet for registering exception filters globally. Global configuration dot configuration dot filters dot add new my test customer store dot not impl exception filter attribute 26 how to handle error using http error http error will be used to throw the error info in response body create error response method is used along with this which is an extension method defined in http request message extensions 27. Write a code snippet to show how we can return 404 error from HTTP error. Below is the code snippet for returning 404 error from HTTP error. String message equals string dot format, test customer ID equals zero not found, custom error. Return request dot create error response, HTTP status code dot not found, message. 28. How to enable tracing in Web API. To enable tracing place below code in register method of web app config.cs file. Config.enable system diagnostics tracing. 29. Explain authentication in Web API. Web API authentication will happen in host. In case of IIS it uses HTTP modules for authentication or we can write custom HTTP modules. When host is used for authentication it used to create principal, which represents security context of the application. 30. Explain ASP.NET identity. 
This is the new membership system for ASP.NET. This allows to add features of login in our application. Below are the list of features supported by ASP.NET Identity in Web API. 1. ASP.NET Identity System Persistence Control 31. What are authentication filters in Web API? Authentication filter will let you set the authentication scheme for actions or controllers. So this way. Application can support various authentication mechanisms. 32. How to set the authentication filters in Web API? Authentication filters can be applied at the controller or action level. Decorate attribute. Identity basic authentication over controller where we have to set the authentication filter. 33. Explain method authenticate async in Web API. Authenticate async method will create I principle and will set on request. Below is the sample code. Snippet for authenticate async. Task authenticate async. HTTP authentication context my test context. Cancellation token my test cancellation token. 34. How to set the error result in Web API. Below is the sample code to show how to set error result in Web API. HTTP response message my response equals new HTTP response message, HTTP status code dot unauthorized. My response dot request message equals request. My response dot reason phrase equals reason phrase. 35. Explain method challenge async in Web API. Challenge async method is used to add authentication challenges to response. Below is the method. Signature. Task challenge async. HTTP authentication challenge context my test context. Cancellation token my test cancellation token. 36. What are media types? It is also called MIME, which is used to identify the data. In HTML, media types is used to describe message format in the body. 37. List out few media types of HTTP. Below are the list of media types. Image slash PNG. Text slash HTML. Application slash JSON. Thirty-eight. Explain media formatters in Web API. Media formatters in Web API can be used to read the CLR object from our HTTP body and media. Formatters are also used for writing CLR objects of message body of HTTP. Thirty-nine. How to serialize read-only properties? Read-only properties can be serialized in Web API by setting the value true to the property. Serialize read-only types of class data contract serializer settings. 40. How to get Microsoft JSON date format? Use date format handling property in serializer settings as below. Var Sun equals global configuration dot configuration dot formatters dot JSON formatter. Mitch Sun dot serializer settings dot date format handling equals Newtonsoft dot JSON dot date format handling dot Microsoft date format. 41. How to indent the JSON in Web API. Below is the code snippet to make JSON indenting. Var my test JSON equals global configuration dot configuration dot formatters dot JSON formatter. My test JSON dot serializer settings dot formatting equals Newtonsoft dot JSON dot formatting dot indented. 42. How to JSON serialize anonymous and weakly types objects? Using newtonsoft.json.link.j object we can serialize and deserialize weakly typed objects. 43. What is the use of ignore data member in Web API? By default if the properties are public then those can be serialized and deserialized, if we does not want. To serialize the property then decorate the property with this attribute. 44. What is underposting and overposting in Web API? Underposting when client leaves out some of the properties while binding then it's called under. 
Posting. Overposting if the client sends more data than expected in binding then it's called overposting. 45. How to handle validation errors in Web API. Web API will not return error to client automatically on validation failure. So it's controller's duty to check. The model state and response to that. We can create a custom action filter for handling the same. 46. Give an example of creating custom action filter in Web API. Below is the sample code for creating custom action filter. Forty-seven. How to apply custom action filter in Web API. Config. Add a new action filter in register method as shown. Forty-eight. What is BSON in Web API? It is a binary serialization format. BSON stands for binary JSON. BSON serializes objects to key value. Pair as in JSON. It's lightweight and it's fast in encode slash decode. 49. How parameter binding works in Web API. Below are the rules followed by Web API before binding parameters. If it is simple parameters like bool int, double etc. then value will be obtained from the URL. Value read from message body in case of complex types. 50. Why to use from body in Web API. This attribute is used to force Web API to read the simple type from message body. From body attribute is along with parameter. Example. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and share through social networks messengers.